what the interpreter meant by this. He meant, welcome back to a thief's training. How much time do I have? I don't know. Can we stick a repair on here? What's that sound? No idea. Might not be high enough for me to climb on top of the tree. How am I gonna get this tiara there? You have to coordinate your patrols instead of alternating. Again. I wish I was a dark watch. Mm -mm. Sometimes I swear they keep it cold in here so we don't fall asleep. Come on, man, turn around and move on. Stop wasting time. <laughs> He's not very alert, thankfully, but there's my rope still in the way. And for some reason, I can't jump off it properly. I don't know why. It's very odd. I just fall and try to leap forward. Normally, it should be possible to leap from the rope to there without too much hassle. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up on this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock these two out, because they are annoying me too much. up here. Well, he's less of a problem because he comes and goes much less frequently, but since I started with the knockouts, I might as well continue with them. up and comes this way. Nope. Okay, he doesn't come that way. Alright, well now we should have free rain out here. To, uh... Fall to our death badly. <laughs> Climb up on these tiny little ledges, edges. To play your mantle, that should be an easy mantle, but it's... 
not built for climbing, it's built for uh out, I guess. Alright, we'll go back up. Go upstairs, let's try to jump across again and try not to fall off this time. Can't stand on that properly. It's all just I try and jump. And I try and jump, and I just move backwards because of physics. Frustrating to have stuff built like this. Did they also not try to do this? How the heck? Can I get it from here just by leaping? No, I can't get high enough. I have to land in exactly the right spot when I jump. This is this is annoying. Okay, I'm on top of that properly now, which is why I mean for the thing, not for the platform. Okay. Pay attention to the how you know the geometry of the level works, or the geometry, you know, the collisions in the game work, and not to what the level looks like. Which is unfortunately not really how you should design for designing for people who spend all their time in drama. Is not as valuable. So what's going on in this? Springs. All right, well, where have I ended up? I've ended up on the upper floor. I don't want to be on the upper floor yet. Let's go back down. Now, let's check out map. Just coming off the courtyard, right? We're here in the interior cloister. Right, there's a the second floor of all of that. Well, I suppose we can check out this entire... S Ooh, that's to the restricted library as well. Okay, that's one of our objectives, is to get there. Right, to look for the book. Um, and get the medallion, which is supposed to be down below, right? In the in the crypt, which we could see uh, as we walked across the courtyard. To see the crypt down below, I don't know how we get there. There's a library tower there, but the restricted library is up here. Interesting. Well, all we, have else, all we have elsewhere on this floor is kitchen, dining hall, and refuse. You know what, let's finish this floor, then we'll head upstairs. I don't want to go through the main hall again. Wow. Oh, noisy floor. We don't have much in the way of moss. one here because I do not trust that I can get up these stairs without blinking because of game physics. Right. Don't expect them to be as smart as you are. Easy tile floor on the latrines too. I suppose it makes it easier to clean. I guess that's hygienic. You know, Do you really want to hear people clanking around the toilets all the time. I guess that's why the door shuts. I'm not going to go look down each of them. We'll go see what I've got left here though. The Bafford Chronicles. Yes. Terrible reading material, but uh, not too bad if, if all you need is a wipe. Oh, I can't even get through here. Oh, 
actually, I realized I might have just trapped myself. here in the kitchen too. Is this a noisy floor? It also looks noisy to me. Put my head in the uh, saucepan there by mistake. Looking in. Dust. I don't know. Yes, incompetence. Uh, I wish I was a dark watch. Very strange. Feels feel like, like. Uh... What do they think they're accomplishing? Like a room brushing fail. I'm just a chair. Don't mind me. anything. I don't know. So they have to have some good wine there. Yes. The darkness here really dulls one's senses. If I keep going out on this door, it will be into the... Oh, I must be hearing someone upstairs in the, in the scriptorium or something. Yeah, it will be going into the main hall where I don't want to go just yet. So we will... Keep going around this way. Alright. I guess we can uh, make use of this door again. Right, let's see, I'll see who it was who I was hearing down below in the dining room. Uh, well, who was disturbing my, not exactly slumber, my uh, thunder. So that goes through the main hall as well, does it not? That's, that's south. No, that goes to the restricted library. Okay, that's where I need to be. What's this little... That's the stairway. Check out... Well, actually... I wish I was a dark watch. I think we can hear everything here. First keeper Rickwin. Third keeper Mayor. an antiquity section with the modern Paganic one. <laughs> I mean, come on. 
to put a photo rest. Oh, there's somebody here. Right. Uh, in more, one, yes, wandering around the script one. Okay. Let's not come from this direction. Let's try coming from the scriptorium. Well, we may have more freedom to move. I think it's got a quieter floor than that. Who we're hearing. What is that there? Can't work out what I'm seeing. <laughs> well, we'll wait till this guy turns away and take a closer look. Is a periscope. I see. The glyph warden was upset today. And another here. through that peering out at me. You're just taking a nice nap here. The question is, can I peer through that and see? No. The other question is, are there other places to peer through periscope like? Oops, there is something there. Glasses. Restricted library access. Instruct number ban. This is now the fifth time. You have forgotten the bus position combination to access the restricted library. And I cannot always be available to remind you. In future, you have permission to seek the instructions located in astronomy, although Keeper Facetus has likely hidden them for, sa for safekeeping. Elder Delberic. Okay. Astronomy. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need the uh, instructions. Quite sure. What have we got here? Collected writings of the Cataclysm, Keeper Lucas. Not yet manuscript copy. Ooh, valuable. The seven great families, the Grand Mordens, the Rise of the Merchant Class, only four. Hand Brotherhood, Friend or Foe. Knights of St. Clovis. And a titleless pagan book. Yeah, the sounds from the floor below are just leaking up into here, which is unfortunate. Plus, some movement in here is unfortunate. Okay. Right, well, that might then change my plans. I'm gonna have to head to the astronomy section of the library, I guess. So, I guess instead of. I guess we'll leave all this ground floor area here for later, and instead make our way across to this thing on this floor. I don't know, we might need to go to the Council Tower. The Elder's Office is going to have the general key to this place, right? Let's just let us look out over the compound. We shouldn't waste this beautiful sunlight. We should get taffing. I wonder what the interpreter meant by this. Let's just stairs down. Somebody there got their interior windows everywhere else. Very hostile architecture. Anybody could be looking anywhere at any time. 
Lots of pools of light to slip through where they might see you. But who's making all that noise? How did you get in? That was a classic fee fail, not due to the hostility of the architecture per se, I just walked up to a door just as he walked in through it. You're not one of us. I was once, but then I got better. You see, it's a joke because Garrett thinks he's better than them. Those are some very nicely detailed windows. You'd never, ever, ever have done that in uh, 1998 or 2000. Okay, you can be having a nice nap on this uh. scriptorium bench. I mean, okay, that looks uncomfortable. That's, uh. that's better. All right, well, let's just pretend that never happened. Standing there, what, looking this way. Fucking hell. Plus, the sounds leaking from straight below me as well. Just... Okay. I know someone's here. Reveal yourself. Oh shit. Somebody else got spooked. Or was it the guy down below? Maybe saw me. heard me. All right, no more fooling around. Show us was surely an acolyte. Nervous after meeting an elder like me. Yes, yes. Surely that's all cause it was. What even am I okay, I'm here in the main hall. Right, let's back let's head down here. room for something. What's this peephole for? Hmm. I was looking south under here. I see, that's the chapter house. What do they think they're accomplishing? Something glowing in there. Let's take a closer look. Oh, it's just lights. Okay. Too dark. This place is too dark and cold. I don't see anything, uh... Ventilation, I guess. Right. So we just keep keep looking out this way. No doubt its contents are woefully outdated. Wait, is there somebody coming here? I just cannot tell where these sounds are coming from at all in this place. <laughs> Upstairs, downstairs. This place is too dark and cold. In my lady's chamber. That's the question. I don't want somebody. Yes. Okay. I don't want somebody walking suddenly uh, up from behind me. Where did you go? Well, if he 
you don't come into this passageway, I'm okay. But, uh, I think I can manage. What do they think they're accomplishing? Sounds like he's just going straight back, yeah. Okay, so he's walking up and down here, that's fine. So that is a stair down from the library tower, I guess. So I do need to... Okay, I'll just explore these rooms and come around here and my force is from me, I suppose. <laughs> While I am not convinced they are indeed of sound loss provenance, they are nonetheless deposited safely in the usual location in the small reading room. The infiltration was most sloppy, and it's a miracle we were not discovered. I would appreciate it if Delbert gave us more information on missions carrying this much risk, or I may be tempted to follow the lead of our former acolyte, who seems to be making quite a living for himself. At least the risks he's taking are of his own free will. Usual location in the small reading room, huh? Where is the small reading room? Is that the small reading room or is this the small reading room? Or is this the small reading room? Can I see where this guy is going? He seems to be coming this way. Yeah, he's standing right here by the window. I guess he's looking out. Beautiful view, hello. Speaking of beautiful views, I see something in that window there I missed. Oh shit, there's somebody there in there too. Somebody else watching the beautiful view. important that we always consider alternative tools and multiple solutions to problems. Should we always rely on glyphs, then we become no different to the Hammerite wielding the hammer, to whom everything looks like a nail. Investigation, surveillance, subterfuge, observation, manipulation. These are our tools before glyphs. Remember, above all, balance. Isar. does not seem to have a place to stash anything of any kind. Let's just assume that is not the small reading room, and let's try back here briefly. any sign of anything stashed in here either, so maybe this is also not the small reading room. This is small reading room actually marked, maybe it is. Hmm. It might be on the ground floor. Well, let's make a note. If I can type. At least that way we uh, shall not completely forget, right? Meanwhile... Yeah, coming across here... And we need to get to astronomy so we can access the restricted library. This looks kind of familiar, does it not?
Right, that's just when I just want to say hello. So I'm looking across here. Did I? Oh, I see. I see a slightly. Uh, We are about exactly what I was seeing there. Hmm. I wonder what the interpreter meant by this. Okay. Astronomy, yes. There's somebody in there. is coming from right here. It's architecture is very nice in here, but really the room brushing leaves a lot to be desired. For a game that relies so much on sound, it's unfortunate. That's very weird that hole there. Does it mean anything? Probably not. <laughs> Make some noise, unfortunately, getting down. The darkness here really okay. Did not hear anything problematic. On the workings of the lunar pool at St. Giles. Several reports, both before and following the cataclysm, made observation of a lunar pool located at St. Giles in the Hamrite Cathedral. The Hamrites of the Old Quarter, despite their flaws, were famed astronomers and made many significant contributions to the field including the discovery of the Dark Salt constellation. The Hammerite Order has historically provided much financial and social support to astronomy, the main motive of which is determining the date for the Feast of St. Clavis. While this keeper does not comment on the properties or otherwise of holy water, the lunar pool, according to reports, did have the ability to change the properties of holy symbols, such as hammers, when immersed in the pool. The most tangible property the pool bestowed on such symbols was a change in colour. While the Hammerites believed they had trapped celestial light containing the Builder's grace and concentrated this in the pool, I believe some other force must be at play, perhaps heat or light leading to some change in the properties of the water. Nevertheless, repeated experimentation has not replicated the results. Further investigation required. Keep it for status. The Glyph Warden was upset today. Ah, uh, yes, that water's not doing its job, is it? Note. Third Keeper Maya and First Keeper Rickman stand face to face for eternity. First Keeper Modrian vowed to watch the back of Interpreter Verderosa from threats. Translator Colum and Interpreter Cedril never saw eye to eye both in life and in death. What's this? Ah, I see. Instrumentum. Nothing I need. Alright. I am going to definitely destroy these banners here. They're really old, outdated astron astronomical theories that uh, do not deserve study these days. Someone's skulking around here. Nay! Nay skulks. No skulks here. What you think you're seeing? All right. Um. Hmm. Well, the good news is I know what I need to get. I know how to get in there now. Bad news is I'm gonna have to come around this way first. I mean, it's not really bad news. It's just I'm not going directly to my goal. I don't have a specific goal from the elder's office except to grab a key. I want to actually get on those beams. Honestly, it's far too tempting to. Uh... Stop making noise. 
might uh pass for a second rope. Glyphs love to play tricks. I'm hearing fire right behind me, it can't be. Is there any reason to be up here? It's just these different bays of statues in them. Tell me. <sighs> Do I see any reason to go climbing up in there? Not particularly, but I guess we're here, we might as well go. Actually, look closely at all of them, right? <laughs> Serpentile talk. The Onyx Procession by Mrs. Fuyard. Weird to have a little black raid Easter egg book just there, but okay. Footsteps, I have no idea. Does that rope go all the way to the ground? No, nearly. Right, there's the guy who saw me, right? He's gonna turn and walk down the hallway, and then I can get off the rope. Well, I can get on the rope and end off it again. West. Oh, there's a little nook here. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh wait, he comes in here, right? I heard the I heard this door open. The obvious by Keeper Albrook. One interpretation of the glyphs, and certainly a view put forward by Interpreter Verderosa, indicates that the revelation of the Brethren and Betrayer is conditional on the removal of something that restrains them and prevents their full manifestation. While interpreters and translators differ on this precise meaning, it has been identified as the Alvius. While many consider the Alvius to be a person, and more specifically a keeper, I think this to be far too simplistic an interpretation. The LVS may very well be the institution itself. Is this a small reading room? Hmm. They're not slashing any... anything there. Hello. Maybe this is the small reading room. Nothing there. I see. You enjoy playing games. And 
unwise decision. You know, first thing about, I'm gonna quick load. Oh shit, where am I? Alright, oh, I just came off there, right? Nothing, you heard nothing. You're not one of us. Who in the hell are you? What are you doing here? You can't see me? What are you reacting to? I'm gonna quick load now. It's a goddamn terrible uh it's, it's not just that it makes it hard to hear everything, it just means I make a slight mistake and everybody hears me even miles away through the floors. Not cool. Alright, well. Let's come back to this. So I have a feeling that uh the double prop here may have broken something, that's why I quickly it the first time. But no, there's still nothing there. What? That's very odd. It's marked as a secret and there's nothing there. Maybe it's a scripting fail. Figure that out some other way. Gordon was upset today. Right, it's a different metal door I'm hearing. Well, never mind, let's go in here first. Can try the elder's office. Any worthwhile reading material in here? No, it's all, all terrible. It's the same old boring stuff that keepers tend to have everywhere. I mean, you'd think they'd get some new material once in a while. I'll wait for him to pass and then go. What the? That book doesn't belong here. might actually come all the way up to this window, I'm not sure. Hide in this nook. <coughs> well, it wasn't quite what I planned to do, but you can frame him for breaking into the uh, Elder's office, I suppose. Unless the Elder is in his office right now, and that's him hearing mumbling there. Quiet about it. Hmm. I wonder what the interpreter meant by this. Ah, I'm elaborate. Of course, that glyph was right. Surely have some 
control over how cold or not it should be. I'm going to use my last moss here. I might need it somewhere more significant. But he's just going to go up and down the stairs there. That's kind of awkward for me. I appreciate the ability to move fast here. But... Where is that book again? Ah, can't find anything in here. Sound like you're not even supposed to be in here, you know. Where is that book again? Yes, you may have noticed that my leaping is not super precise, and my attempts to leap to carpets. Small carpets tend to miss as about as at least as often as they uh, succeed. Um, so my leap fail earlier was absolutely my fault. The fact that it alerts everybody is less so. Chapter house key. A. I share your concerns, although I do think you show too much interest at times. Balance must be maintained always. His importance is without question, and close observation is recommended for now. But use judgment on when you decide to tip the scales one way or another. On another matter, I agree with your view that he is not involved, but the disappearance of Keeper Dagwin is very grave indeed, and a discussion of how to proceed will take place in the chapter house today. Elder Delbrick. Okay, I have the chapter house key. It's probably a bad place to leave bodies, right? Well, whatever. Keeper Nevard, thank you for reporting your grievances to me. I will ensure this matter is investigated with the Keepers Leo de Gar, Ramiro, and Bryce. In the meantime, I have an assignment of the utmost importance which I can only entrust with you. We require more Baron's police uniforms for our sparring partners. Infiltrate the barracks in dark smoke and obtain some, in various sizes and good condition. As always, remain undetected. Report to Instructor Ortgis when you return. Elder Valbrook. Oh, I didn't notice they've got these lamps all the way around this corridor. That's very nice. Very neat looking. Okay, so this was the small reading room, right? But there was nothing here. Well, we have the note for the place we need to go. Uh, blah, 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 that's Sigurd and what's his name? They don't understand. Right. No, they don't the understand. thing that I read about the small reading room, I don't know where it was. Okay. Where am I going? I've forgotten already. Uh, yeah, down, down to the restricted library. We've got the uh, instructions now. Right, somewhere in here that was the note, right? In the dormitory. Or was it downstairs in that? Oh, I don't remember. Wait a I'm all turned about. We want to be going this way. Yes? No? I can hear somebody walking so loudly and clearly. I saw the chair and it spooked me, I thought it was a person. Okay. Alright, where's that strange note? Strange note. Maya and Riquin stand face to face. Okay, they do. Audrian vowed to watch the back of Verderosa. Uh, 
and translate to column and interpret several never saw eye to eye in life or in death. Noise in here. Why is this library so restricted? And why can't I move quietly? I just need to crouch. But if there's nobody to hear me, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh. There is, of course, somebody present. I've got a quiet floor in here as, as suits a library. There's stuff on the table as well. We'll check that out shortly, but let's see what we're dealing with in terms of people who might see us. That looks slightly ominous. Well, that's a noisy floor. Okay, good to know. Restricted Library, Catalogue of Rare Books, 71280, on the revolution of the celestial objects, Brother Renault. Good condition despite being discovered during the installation of the Elemental Wars, only copy known to exist. 712.81, first folio of Playwright Sigvald. Whilst it is a rare manuscript, the Council should consider the appropriateness of holding such an item in these halls, especially in light of recent forgery accusations against Sigvald. 71282, Golden Book of Noble Families, Volume 2. Not an original, but valuable nonetheless, considering the damning accounts are contained therein on many of the great families, particularly on the Tetremolay conspiracy. Currently on display on the stone table on the ground floor of the restricted library, its gold cover shimmering under the large window. 71283, Codex of Bazaar, likely a fake, but further study warranted. Which these things are not readable? Gonna hate it when people do that. Oh, and the library items, they should be, they should be readable. Ooh, okay, this place goes... Goes down further. Oh, of course, that's the uh, interrupts tower. I guess this must have been from the uh, Deadly Shadows contest. Whoops. Ah! Well, that's one way down. Expect the library to be restricted. The library to be the way to the crypt. I was leaving the other rooms to the ground floor untouched. Thinking there would be the, the way to the crypt. How does the uh, interpreter get up and down to the tower there? And honestly, it's a very uh, Impractical way to store books, so I guess really impressive. Maybe these are the ones that they've already read and finished with. Where does this door go? 
fact that that's the way the crypt is, is a little surprising, because it didn't feel like this was a intended route, or at least not a, you know, it felt like a secret route, not a, uh... Oh, I see. Get in there, that one. Through that door. Question answered. Well... Let us... No, 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 we've got... It's almost the hour, let's let's keep going around the library for a bit. We'll get to the, keep the crypt for the next episode. See me. Non readable. Non readable readables. There's a book up there. How did you get in? I guess he saw me. You're not one of us. Dust. Where do you think you are, intruder? Oh, oh, very cool ladder. I wish I was a dog. <laughs> How did you get in? Step out of the shadows and reveal yourself. I do appreciate these uh, bookshelves in the shape of a key. That's commitment to the uh, to the brand on the bar of the keepers. What? Who are you? And what are you doing here, intruder? Very weird line to say when they're not seeing me. That's uh, looks like it's being allocated to the wrong place. Also, the fact that they stopped to do their staring at paintings while they're in search mode is. Should have been picked up during beta testing, I feel like. What a trolley. How did you get in? It's an easy thing These to fix. Holes not for profane eyes. You cannot be allowed to leave. These holes are not for propane propane eyes? My eyes run on uh oh, me things. These people out, they're gonna be suspicious now. They're gonna be more alerted. Maybe I can stay out of their way a little better. Can't see if there's a Nothing on his belt. Shadowing here is awkward. There, I saw the book. The valuable one that we're uh, 
we read about it in the catalogue, I think that's the one we're after. So what is that I see in the distance there? Is that just one of their lamps or is that something different? Oh, it's just one of their lamps. Clifford styled lamps. Should really just hit him on the head, shouldn't I? Make this quicker. Make him doubt his memories that he uh, was concussed and hallucinated and Garrett. Either take the butter off your fingers or I need a new mouse. Weird that the right mouse button has started doing it too. Is the left mouse button was failing? I knew that, but the right mouse button at the same time. I guess their lifetimes are very balanced. Well, he won't see me up here because of the crossways. It's not the shop, right? Great families, the Tremolet. Search all he likes, but even the Baron will lose his shadow in the darkness. Whether a soul he possess, only the builder can guess. Scipio de Tremolet, 634. The house of de Tremolet consolidated power in the city in the 500s, reaching a peak under Scipio de Tremolet by the 600s. The family originated in the canal filled Pontus district, giving it ease of access to trade with Bone and Cyric. This facilitated the creation of the most successful banking operation in the city. The House of de Tremolet kept close ties with the Hammerite Order, establishing the Tremolet Chapel in the Hammerite Cathedral of Pontus. Indeed, when Scipio de Tremolet became head of the family in the 600s, he set about fostering a close personal relationship with Cardinal Rodiger. When Cardinal Rodiger's nephew, Lothgar, attempted to acquire further lands to expand the canal network around Pontus, the Baron interceded on the grounds of strategic importance and tried to purchase it for himself. The land was eventually sold to Lothgar in exchange for a position in the hierarchy of the Hammerite Order. The purchase was originally to be financed by the Rosini Bank, but given their close relationship with the Barons before the establishment of the Barons Bank, they refused to finance the purchase. This, in turn, created a rift between the Hammerites and the Rosinis. The House of de Tremolet ultimately benefited, financing the deal and forging an even closer relationship with Cardinal Rodiger, which creating enemies of both the Rosinis and the Baron. While it is not clear who instigated the plot, a conspiracy was put in motion to assassinate Prospero, the head of the Rosini family, and the Baron. The ultimate goal of this plot was for Scipio de Tremolet to replace the Baron and create a new dynasty with the tacit support of Cardinal Rodiger. The attack took place on the morning of the Feast of St. Eustace during a meeting between Prospero and the Baron at the Rosini Palace. Prospero was killed, but a large contingent of the Baron's personal bodyguards swarmed the attackers, and the Baron escaped. The conspirators were quickly rounded up and hanged from the windows of the Baronial Palace, including Scipio. Curiously, the de Tremolet family were not banished from Pontus, and continue to wield significant power in the district to this day. This favourable treatment is likely due to the intercession of Cardinal Rodiger, who emerged from the conspiracy unscathed. More curious still, very little record of this event survives, and is largely forgotten by the populace today. Right, that is a golden book. Oh, he does come here. Uh, does he notice his golden book is missing? Clearly not. What's my objectives? Ah, uh, yes, that's that valuable golden book. And I have hit the loot goal. Okay. I have no idea how Scipio and what's his face went to this place there. I'm feeling kind of stuck here. I think if I move, I'll get seen. I guess we've got to wait patiently. Stairway to the upper floor. I guess I did not finish on the upper floor, did I? Right, I saw this. I 
and realized I was just looking at a fancy stairway as I was sort of like some kind of gate into a restricted room. But nothing so exciting. Smashed window there. to this place. Hello. Is that you, Zelda? <laughs> On the character in Kudron Prophecy. Collect the notes by Keeper Erlinder. For many years we keep us theorized whether an ancient form of us existed at Karastin, based on the discovery of the Kudrum scrolls beneath the Temple Palace. These scrolls appear to predict the fall of Karastin in the reign of Vataran at least 100 years before the event. It is now, however, clear that this scroll was written after the events occurred. This raises two questions. How many survived the fall of Karathen? And to what ends was a prophecy contrived after the event occurred? Perhaps such forgeries are not limited to the ancients. But who was it who... Oh, did he kind of see me there? I guess he might have... What a glimpse. You also uh, got alerted before, so it's safer to... Seeing as you've already been alerted, I'm not going to feel like I'm a Dipper Master Thief, but never alerts you, so I might as well take the opportunity to make it safe instead of... Instead of trying to go for Super Master Thief status. Should have knocked the downstairs going out as well. What caused us greater concern was the news that greeted us upon entering the village. Those there, whom we had not met with in a year, had died of the previous Vendemia in the most curious nature. Those wretches, based on the account provided to us, were seized with an affliction unfamiliar to us, but not very unfamiliar among the people we were seeking. They are afflicted with neither madness, insanity, nor fury, but have a combination of all these classes of sickness, which affects their thoughts and causes them to move in the most unnatural manner. Death was determined as the solitary remedy, and they were slain by the locals in order to stay the course of their madness. I don't know what that's a reference to, but it feels like it's referring to something. Okay, that's so much for this side. How about the other side of the upstairs? Who are you? Well, I'm past wondering about where these echoing footsteps are coming from. Everybody can sleep safer for me. Less bothersome for me too. Oh, A little passage right there. say everybody can sleep, I didn't realize there's somebody up here as well. Keepers keep Keep that guy downstairs. We'll be the only one who gets to stay awake. Just because I didn't knock him out while I was down there. I don't have another reason to go back there, do I? Well, I guess I do need to go downstairs again. To head to the crypt, but that will be shortly. Ah, oh, there's the peephole window, right. the stairs. Okay, and where was the... Oh, I thought I was being so clever. Way here, right, to the interpreter's tower. The question is... No, I don't need that anymore. 
I can go down the stairs and across the floor below. Can I get into the interpreter's tower? Look like I can. <laughs> Welcome home. Mm hmm. You knew I'd be here, did you? Well, then. <laughs> I think that makes it a very good place to end this episode, so. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you here soon for the next one.